104.9 FM KREK, turn on the radio because I've got in studio with me. You better take that out of your mouth. Mark usually helps. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, already, already got me going. I have Leah C. right in here. Good morning, Leah. Good morning. How are you this morning? I am doing fantastic. And yeah. just let everybody know up front. Check out my Facebook later today, would that be correct? And uh, we're starting to video our interviews with the artists. And Leah, I couldn't be more tickled to have you as my first video artist. Oh my gosh, well it, uh, it's my pleasure. Kind of threw me a curveball with a guitar here, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick it and sing and... And we'll have some good times here in the studio. So. Now, Leah, uh, tell you first single is Country Girl 101. And uh, tell people about Leah Searay. Where are you from? I'm from Fort Payne, Alabama. And oh, a little garage band is from there. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Yeah, a uh, little garage band kind of had maybe 40 something, 50 something number one in Alabama. And uh, the former drummer, Mark Herndon, is with me today. He's now my drummer. and But he ain't got no hair. No, he lost it. But see, I can put all my hair over his head, and he puts his sunglasses on. He looks just exactly like he used to. <laughs> we'll do that before we leave. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. And um, so he's my driver, road manager, coffee getter, bubblegum holder, <laughs> drummer. We have a lot of fun. We we he still brings it on the live shows. It's amazing at, at how much energy you know we create in our live shows, and uh, it's just all good. Hey, we're living. We're having a good time. Yeah, well, I know this morning you were up in Stillwater. You saw my friend Jay McCray, and he's always talking about that new baby nigger tot. Yeah, he said he wasn't your friend though. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know how he is. No, I think, no, no, he, no. You know, he, he, there's that little Aggie school up there in Stillwater. Yeah. You know, the University of Oklahoma is in Norman, but he goes, That's he, right. Yeah, he's near that little Aggie school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he uh, he's a great guy. We had a good time up there with him and uh, played the song and got to hear about his little baby. And, and he was digging all the chicks on Fox News. So <laughs> uh, that that's Jay. His wife Lacey will get him that later yeah, for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know. Now, Leo, how long have you been doing this crazy business? A couple weeks. <laughs> <I'm> just <kidding. laughs> you just got started. Wow, that was so fast getting this single out. Oh my gosh, I was uh, music in general. I was born into my mom, my dad, my brother. Just a huge family of musicians, singers. Um, I don't know. Uh, in high school, I joined a little uh, Christian, uh, country southern rock band, and and that kind of gave me the bug. And you know, you get used to kind of get your feet wet, get used to getting in front of folks, and, and knowing how to relate to a crowd through music. And it just kind of grew from there. I've, I've, uh, I did a couple of gospel albums early on, and and then we've uh, I've been writing and working on this country record for several years now. Actually, it's been a work in progress, but we're proud of it. Country Girl 101 is, is, I'm glad we came out with it as the first single because it, it kind of shows who I am. It shows my personality and, you know, it's just fun little sassy song. So. And, and the women are kind of liking it too. I hope so. I hope so because it's a girl power song, but the guys, you know, they want to be listening so they know what to do. Well, you know, <laughs> and we always talk about this. I love my independent artists because it's a little tougher on you guys, but. Uh, a lot tougher. It's a lot <laughs> tougher, okay? And, but um, it's just. It seems to me the music is so much better sometimes, better than, than some of the major label acts. And not, not a swipe at them, it's just you've got more control over your music. You do, and you you have more creativity. You're not being told what to do and, and what to sing and how to write and how to play and how your music should be arranged. And, you know, when you have more creativity as an artist, the people connect more, I believe, because they think, well, this is her, this is who she is, she's real. You know, people dig that. They you, they see, you know, crowds and radio, people out there in radio land listening, they see through the fakeness. So they just want something real because they get enough fake stuff. As now, now you, write some, you write your own music too, is that correct? <coughs> I do. Now, I do. I, I do have a question for you. Hey, I want you to think about this. There was one song that you could have wrote, that you wish you could have wrote, which one would it be? Oh, my gosh. Wow. Um... I, I know there's just, there's so many good ones out there, but wow. is there a personal you, favorite? Of happy yours? birthday! That's, Shut that's up! That's what I wish I'd written. That, that's a check for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, <laughs> Christmas in Dixie. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Got right around that one. Oh my God! Uh, you know I love the song. Uh, I'm 
I'm a big fan of new country, but I'm a huge fan of old country. And I, uh, Burn God's and Chiseled in Stone. Oh. That'd probably be the one that I always, uh, that's, it still brings cold chills all over me when I hear that. You know? Who's your favorite artist? Lisa. <laughs> no, no, that's a good, no, you know, no, that's a good no, honest no. answer for once. Yeah. I know. Oh Besides my God, I have so many right. favorites. Oh gosh, oh, who's favorite. Your, who's your favorite at the moment? Uh, at the moment, uh, probably Jamie Johnson. <gasps> oh my gosh, Jamie Johnson is a songwriting god. Yeah, he is. He is and uh, that's another thing. You, I like those records when you put them on and you listen to them and you feel like they just come out and they they're there with you, you know. They come out through the radio, and that that rawness. I love Miranda, love her. Um, she scares me. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, you listen to the entirety of her record. There's some soft stuff. A lot of people say she's too angry sometimes. Works well, right. she's married. Exactly. I mean, I'd be angry too. No, I'm just kidding. Well, now we're speaking of the Leah Searight. Leah, what about dream duet partner, dead or alive? Who would you who would you love to do one duet with? Travis Tritt. Mm -hmm. I am so I love Travis Tritt. He mm -hmm. he is just fantastic. Yeah. Now you're gonna do a little ditty for us, is that correct? I'm gonna try. I tried to tune this guitar and I don't know, it's probably it, it's We'll do it. I'll do anything once. Twice <laughs> if we like it. Yeah. <laughs> Mark always says if you mess it up, do it twice it looks like it was planned. <laughs> my motto. This is a little song that I wrote. Are we ready? Uh, it's called, uh, I wrote it about growing up in Alabama, and uh, it's called Bama Sky. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Let me see you right. <laughs> On a dirt road between your house and mine, we'd meet there under the Bama Sky. I remember when you were in smile. And the silly way you used to make me laugh when you walk and talk as the hours pass. Tell you what, 
Writing songs about where you're from, I think, is the best. Oh, God, it is. And it, they come easier, you know, when it's uh, something you've experienced. It's just those songs like that from growing up and, and you pull from all them emotions. It's just there. I mean, five-minute songs. It's easy. Now, you have to write about love. It takes you a lot longer because that's complicated. <laughs> love is complicated. You yeah, know, let me yeah. tell you. Let's t let's talk about your single, uh, Cowgirl. Uh, cow, uh, it's okay. Country we get Girl that everywhere we go. <laughs> well, I'm from Oklahoma. Yeah, you know, cowgirl. There's cows everywhere. Mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll stop right there. But okay. Country Girl 101. Country Girl 101 is uh, uh, it's a co-write. Me and a guy in Nashville wrote it, uh, Frank Green. And um, he's good at putting those jamming, rocking chords. You know, I play more towards the countryside, but uh, it's it's just sassy. It's a, it's a how to get a country girl song. And, uh, sweet, sassy, spunky. And boys listen up, right? Well, I hope so, because you know, the only kind of girl to have is a country girl, of course. So. Now, is, is your album out yet, or is it a work in progress, or what's it going on? No, it's out. It's on leahcwright.com. You go there, and you can, uh, there's the CD Baby link, iTunes link. You can download it. Uh, we'll probably leave some copies with you guys for giveaways if you want. If I do need a new cool. coaster. <laughs> 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 hey, you know, he tells people they make good skeet shoots if you run out. <laughs> you don't like it. But uh, now, are you on Facebook also? I, I Facebook? Tell you, I mean, it is so different well, even when I started in the business back yeah. in 92. Facebook rules the world. And I love it. I love Facebook. It's, you know, people don't even email me on my email address anymore. It's uh, Everybody goes to Facebook and it's... Uh, it's great. I mean, it, it's all about networking and, you know, social, making friends. And we get out. The great thing, we go to these stations, and then when we leave, you know, I get attached to you guys. And then you have to leave, and it's kind of sad, but then you think, oh, well, look me up on Facebook. We'll still remain friends. And we'll see each other at CRS, too. Yes. You know, that, that's a lot of fun. That's, that's, that is too much I, fun. I do go out there to learn. I hope you don't stay drunk like the rest of the DJ. Oh, no, 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 I'm not that way. I can tell you that right now. Deanna, do not tell that story. <laughs> Leah, thank you so much for coming in. My face. No. Oh, I bless you, Dad, because there was one incident. But I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Leah, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate it. And we just want to encourage everybody to go to our website and, uh, you know, sign up for our, I think you can get, if you sign up, for the newsletter, you can get a free download on LeahCWrite.com. I'm pretty sure they're still doing that. So, Because, you know, then we shoot out emails. We've been on tour. We're, we've signed a new booking deal, and uh, we'll be going touring all over the United States. So that way I can let you guys know when I'm going to be here, and y'all can come out, and we can not do anything bad, but do good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Leah, thank you so much. We're going to play your single right now, cool. Country Girl 101, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, here's Leah Seawright, Country Girl 101 on KREK. Great interview, great interview. Uh